And Connor McDavid with his seventh goal of these playoffs. And Edmonton heading to the Western Conference Final for the first time since 2006. And this was a true battle. Ended in five games, but I think it was much closer than that. Points in eight consecutive games for McDavid now. Blake Coleman thought he might have had the game winner in the third. And I think a lot of fans, Calgary fans, would agree with that. Well, we waited 31 years for it, and we got our money's worth yeah, in this did. series. We did, Chris. Even though it ends a little quicker than some might have anticipated in five. Yeah, I was one of those. I was certain that we were going to have a six or seven game series. It just seemed like the teams were too closely matched. And the two goaltenders can uh, commiserate because that was a tough series on both of them. You're right. That was a tough series. Lots of scoring and it's not what the, the series that both of them expected, although Mike Smith certainly would enjoy a five game victory. But there are a lot of goals that were scored in this series and I think Jacob Markstrom would be the first to tell you that that was not the series that he was looking forward to. Started with a 9-6 game and it ends with a nine goal game and a 5-4 Edmonton victory and now they await the winner of a interesting series between the Colorado Avalanche and the St. Louis Blues and who are not may, going away. Yes, that may go seven, right? They're back in St. Louis tomorrow. We know how difficult that building is. And I wouldn't be surprised to see them going back for, to Denver for game seven. Darrell Sutter with words for Connor McDavid, and he's had a lot of words of praise <laughs> publicly about 97. He sure has. Let's, get, let's go down to ice level. Here is Connor with Scott Oak. Chris, thank you. Connor, uh, compared to some other games in this series, you were relatively quiet tonight. <laughs> and then the overtime winner, the goal that sends the Oilers to the conference final. Describe the moment. Uh, I was bad all night. You know, I uh, was riding the coattails of my teammates, and uh, you know, they gave a great opportunity to get it in overtime, and just so happy to uh, to contribute in this one. I was I was bad all night. Seven years here, a lot of playoff disappointments. This is obviously your greatest success. What's it mean to you? It means the absolute world in this moment, in this building, against this team. Um, you know, it means absolutely everything to me and to everything to this group. And we've been through a lot of ups and downs, and uh, this is certainly one of the ups. And we look forward to uh, to next round. There was a moment in this game when the outcome was in doubt and that's when Blake Coleman's goal was disallowed in the third period. It took a while for them to make the ruling. What were you thinking? Truthfully, I haven't really seen it. Um, you know, it's tough for me to make a call on it. Um, you know, they deemed it a kick and obviously we agree with that. Thanks, Connor. Appreciate your time. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Chris.